pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing. Hello everyone and welcome back or if this is the first time you're hitting on my video today welcome my name's Casey and I'm going to bring you all along on my morning routine so I'm currently 19 weeks pregnant when I'm filming this morning routine and we also have our gorgeous 18 month old daughter Harper which you will obviously see in today's video um, yeah so I just thought I'd bring you along on this it wasn't that long ago that I did my morning routine on a work day so I only work part-time but um, on the other days that I'm not working this is what mine and Harper's morning routine typically looks like obviously every morning's different on this particular morning Harper did wake up at 5 o'clock a.m. and I gave her a bottle sometimes she may fall back off sometimes you know she wants to start her day at 5 a.m. and I guess that's fine she slept through the night so I can't complain but on this particular morning I gave her a bottle and she went back to bed so I sort of popped back in bed and just scrolled on my phone and then I just thought no get up get into it get your day started Casey so I got up made the bed having my warm lemon water which I have every morning before coffee before food anything so I'm just having that and then obviously going around opening the blinds I just love letting the light in even on the really hot days which I know it's terrible to do you should keep your blinds down um, obviously to keep that hot sun out and keep inside cool but I just love the sunlight coming in so yeah we're just opening up the blinds I'm just getting as much done um, just to make the morning run a bit smoother when Harper does actually wake up she did wake up at seven on this particular morning and if you are new here and this is the first time you're clicking on my channel today I would really love it if you drop me a comment down below so I could welcome you personally and thank you very much for being here so as you just see me do I sort of just started prepping Harper's bowl for her plate for her breakfast and I'm just filling up her water bottle here and I'll just leave this on on the bench top here so that when she wakes up because the water bottle is the first thing she usually reaches for if she's had a bottle like she did this morning at 5 a.m. she won't tend to want to eat as soon as she wakes up but normally if she has slept through the night and she wakes usually about 6 6 30 she'll she'll be hungry and she'll want breakfast not long after she has woken up and come out so but on this morning she did have it a bit later so and I'm just going to give Tiara some breakfast So now Harper is awake and we're lucky because sort of when she first wakes up she's usually pretty happy. Um, it's only on the odd time that she might be a bit grizzly as sometimes they are but most mornings she's yeah, completely happy and fine and she'll just wake up and sort of get around and do her own thing for a bit, play a bit, do whatever she, she sort of wants and obviously drinks her water. Lately, it's so funny how as they get older, they start to do their, their little cute things that you're just like, oh, yeah, you know, their little moments, and I mean, which is always, but lately if she does something wrong and she sort of gets a bit yelled at or whatever, she'll kiss, kiss, and then, you know, go, go to give you a kiss. It's just the sweetest, most adorablest thing. Just 
chill. And on this particular morning, Harper had to give Tiara another treat, so I just let her give her one more treat. And then I'm just setting the diffuser for the day. I'm just putting some citrus fresh and peppermint in the diffuser this morning. I just love peppermint and I love citrus oils and they're just so uplifting. Such a great combination for, for in the morning and wake you up that little bit more. While I finish off my lemon water, if I haven't drank at all before Harper wakes up, and then have my coffee, I try and limit this to obviously only one cup of coffee, especially being pregnant, and then I don't drink coffee throughout the day. Um, it'll just be water and, and tea. But yeah, Harper will usually just you know play with the pencils as she is here, and um, either play with her Play-Doh and just, yeah, wander in and out the playroom, bring me things and yeah, sort of just plays around like that until we're ready to go for our walk. Wait a second, I don't need you And why so settled? I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better Where's the teddy? Wait a second huh? I wanna stay up a little bit With my heart in your head Maybe stare too much Cause you don't understand You got me gone You don't understand You got me a bit selfish when you wait too humble might be overzealous getting you in trouble cause I'm a little bit steady even a little bit mad might be a disaster now as I'm sure a lot of other parents can relate to this but we all start off saying we're not gonna you know introduce TV or electronics um, I know I've said this on numerous occasions, but I just have the telly sort of going in the background just for a bit of something. I mean, Harper doesn't really pay much attention to it yet at this stage. There might be the odd thing that catches her attention, but apart from that, it's just sort of on whilst we're sort of, you know, hanging around in the morning and then obviously it goes off. It doesn't stay on all day. I was kindly gifted these adorable reusable cloth nappies from a website called Rudy Baby. They are the most sustainable and eco-friendly baby nappies. I love how they have these easy to use snappies, which just makes it adjustable to any size bub. Um, these are sort of the newborn ones, these orange pattern ones, and Harper has been fitting into them perfectly fine um, because as you can see, the little snappies adjust to different size waists um, for different size bubs but that sort of zigzag pattern nappy is the training pants the training nappies they also sent me so and I just love the designs they're just gorgeous but yeah these have been washing up perfectly um, you just insert that sort of liner inside now the training pants don't have the little slit for the liners as such but you can put them sort of just in the gusset bit of the nappy um, and, and use the liners that way. He's had no problems wearing these. They're so soft and just so cute. They've got a huge range of designs. Um, if you head over to Rudy Baby and they have kindly gave me a discount code for all of my subscribers, which is KC10 and this will get you 10% off at checkout. Um, and they're an Australian company located in Queensland. So I'm all about that. Um, supporting Australian companies but yeah if you're in the market for some reusable cloth nappies I can highly recommend checking out Rudy Baby because they're just gorgeous now this is where the true struggle begins with the changing as I mentioned at the start of this video 
she just does not want to stay still these days um, it's a mission for her to stay still so this is really um, yeah, tiring exercise to change Harper these days So now it's about time that Harper's probably ready for breakfast. So every morning Harper's breakfast looks different. She loves avocado toast, just plain avocado on toast and then yogurt. She really loves yogurt. I just put some chia seeds in her yogurt and mix that together for her and she just really loves it. It's so cute. She goes and gets her um, bib now from the drawer, and it's like she'll tell you when when she's hungry. Um, like of an afternoon, she say dinner, din din, you know, type thing, um, and go to the drawer and get her bib. So very very sweet. Harper is really good at feeding herself um, using her spoons and her forks which is such a time saver for me um, on this particular morning I wasn't quite hungry yet um, it all just depends how I feel when I'll eat breakfast um, sometimes I might eat it after we've gone for a walk and when we get home that's when I sort of might feel like it um, yeah it just sort of depends but I do when I do have breakfast I do try and sit with her but on particular mornings whilst Harper's contained strapped in her seat here at the table is when I can you know do things like empty the dishwasher and, and just little things like that just catch up on some things while she's sitting here um, entertained eating her breakfast and I definitely can only do her hair while she's sitting here at the dining table because she does not like her hair to be done even to brush it overnight is a mission she's just so go 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 so yeah I take this opportunity as well why she can't move to do up her hair and I feel sorry for this poor girl because I am not a hair person whatsoever I do not know styles or anything when it comes to hair as I'm sure you can tell by how I style my hair I'm pretty plain Jane so I just usually put it up sort of to keep it out of her face mostly um, but yeah I mean it's still cute at the end of the day now for me just to get ready for the day and finally out of my pajamas so I just got them tights I've showed them before in my Kmart haul they were just from Kmart and I just got that shirt the other week from Sheen it's sort of like a um, you know breastfeeding one so great great for feeding and then it just lifts up so I'm just quickly going ahead doing this obviously putting my sunscreen on after I have brushed my teeth and then just a bit of makeup nothing flash and most of this makeup I've actually had for quite a while like the blush palette um, and things like that so 
Yeah, but on this particular morning, as you've seen, I just, I had to go take Harper and sit her in her cot with some toys because she was just, as you could see, getting in to the cupboard here, ripping everything out, just, yeah, making it a hundred times longer process than it had to be. So, I mean, I feel terrible doing that, but sometimes that sort of stuff has just got to be done so that you can just get yourself ready. I mean, I don't take long to get ready at all, but yeah, I just had to pick her up and, and take her and put her in a cot, even though she didn't want to go, but she was completely fine in a cot um, whilst I was quickly getting ready. So I'm just using the Lust Mineral Powder. That's just from Lust. I've had that for quite a while, so I just put that over the top of my foundation. I've just been using the Natio, I think it's pronounced, um, foundation, and I don't mind that at all but yeah as you can see it, it lifts down here and I just love the color I just think it's so cute and very inexpensive sheen is so now we're just on for our morning daily walk and this is the first time I've ever went for a walk with Harper um, in the almost two years um, she, she's been here and it's ever rained so it's never rained on us before we've never been caught in the rain so I thought that was something different Harper completely didn't mind it at all but um yeah, so now we're just going to have a smoothie and Harper's been really liking smoothies lately, which I'm so happy about. And I got her this new silicon smoothie cup, but it's very, very, it was made a bit silly and I didn't really notice it, obviously, until I purchased it and it arrived and I used it with Harper, but the straw will come out. So, you know, she can easily lift the straw out, which is not ideal. But um, it's still really cute and I just love the pink colour. I'll link that in the description box below, the website where I got that from. But And I also got a sort of olivey coloured one for baby. So when he's old enough and he's having smoothies as well. So yeah, I mean they're just, they are really cute and they're silicon. So if she drops it, obviously it's no big deal. But um, yeah, so we're just having our smoothie. Harper lately has also had a real obsession with creams um, so she just uses this pretend um, sort of bottle here plastic bottle as like a cream but yeah as soon as she sees like my creams or anything like that she cream cream yeah she just fascinated with creams right now so we'll just play like this and sometimes obviously we go at the back as well and, and she'll, she'll play at the back um, before having a nap anywhere between 10 and 11 she'll go down for her nap and she'll most likely sleep for about an hour and a half to two hours most days so I can get a fair bit done in in that time if I really put my mind to it and she's just having a piece of toast here with just plain butter on it um, before she'll have her milk and 
go down for her nap. Now Harper's down for her nap, so this is sort of like, shall we say, a brunch for me today. Now this is like my go-to breakfast and lunch, um, just a fried egg, baby spinach, tomatoes, mushroom, and today I'm having it on a sourdough wrap, and then I've just got my prenatal vitamin and my vitamin C, which I take every day. So yeah, that's just like a simple go-to either breakfast for me or lunch. Yeah, and then I'm just going to tidy up the rest of the things that I didn't get done this morning. So just wash up these few dishes here just by hand with um, hot water and dish soap. And then stack some certain items in the dishwasher to be washed tonight in the dishwasher. I'm not overthinking feelings. I just need you to know that I don't want you close. I see some kids, even probably younger than Harper, sort of drinking their milk out of like a sippy cup. Um, I said this to Colvin the other day, I was like, I don't think Harper should be still drinking her milk out of her actual baby bottles, like with the teats, but he's sort of just, yeah, you know, whatever, however she drinks it. But, you know, I think that's just a mother sort of thing. What, what we do, we sort of compare, oh, you know, well, I mean, we try not to, it's definitely not healthy. Um, to compare with other people and, and other children but yeah I sort of just thought most children sort of lay there in their bed you know in their cot or whatever and, and hold their sippy cups themselves but we still hold the bottle for Harper um, before she goes down for each nap you know so she can drink her bottle sometimes she might go to, to hold it but then she doesn't yet hold it for long and then we sort of take over again but yeah it's just funny how kids you know all do different things and I suppose as parents we all do different things as well Well, thanks so very much guys for watching. Um, what a typical morning routine looks like for me at this stage being 19 weeks pregnant and with my 18 month old daughter for a non-working morning. Um, if you're new here and you haven't already hit that subscribe button it would really mean so much to me if you did and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me your comments down below and I'll chat to you all soon. Bye!